All right, what is going on? So today we're doing something a little different as you can see. I have everything I need to start cleaning my chain and then give it a nice little lube after. Cleaning my chain is something that I like to do every 500 miles or so, but I think it's been over a thousand miles since I last cleaned it, which is definitely not good and definitely not recommended. If you ever start feeling like a lot of vibrations or it just feels a little rough, uh, chances are you might need a little chain lube. It can honestly pretty drastically change how your bike handles and performs because it can get so gunked up as you see here that there's just so much friction in the chain. You can even lose horsepower. You'll notice it if you don't clean your chain for a while and you'll especially notice how much better it is after you clean it and re-lube it. So what I like to use personally is this simple green all-purpose cleaner. Now it doesn't clean as well as some of the other ones on the list but this is what I have access to it's relatively cheap and uh, personally I just want my chain to last a long time and the other reason is I have this uh, grunge brush which this will help kind of add to the cleaning ability of this solution so yeah as you can see as I look down nice and close the chain is pretty dirty I don't know if that's rust that's forming it might be it's it's a mess and it's really bad looking so we're gonna go ahead and give this chain a nice deep clean and that way i can get back on the road for another 500 miles i mean look at this one right here look how dirty that is you can't even see the link so yeah we're gonna start off with a simple green we're gonna spray this down really good until this chain is soaking wet i spin it both ways switch over here do it from this angle all right that's a pretty good start so i'm gonna let it sit for about two minutes and let it start really breaking down all the gunk that's on there. As you can see, I got it on the stand to make it even easier. Highly recommend having a stand and some spools just to get the bike up. Makes it a hundred times easier instead of having to get on the bike and roll it a little bit to get parts of the chain. That's, that's really annoying to do. Just make this a quick, like probably 30 minute process. So it's really a quick and easy thing that you can do just to help keep your bike maintained and uh, running to its top performance. All right, so it's been about two minutes now. Uh, everything stopped dripping, so I'm gonna go ahead and re-spray this chain. Then we'll get to scrubbing it down, getting the thicker, heavier gunk off of here. You wanna make sure that you get this rear sprocket nice and clean as well. So we got our brush now. So I make sure that the outside of the chain here is rubbing against this middle piece. That way I can kind of get the top and bottom, but mainly I'm just trying to clean the gunk on the outer part of the chain. I kind of do a brush and then I reapply it, let it sit for another minute or so, and then I'll go ahead and scrub it again. So I'm really working the bottom of the chain here. All right, coming back in with the spray, I'm gonna go ahead and spray from the sprocket area. All right, looking pretty good so far. Coming back in with the brush, we're now going to attack it from the top. So I'm gonna put it in like this, and uh, it's a little harder to scrub back and forth here. I'm just going to be rotating that back wheel and letting my hand that's rolling the wheel do most of the work and just kind of have this pushed against there tightly. All right, moving back to the spray. Spray it down again, back and forth, spraying, scrubbing, different angles of the chain. All right, so now, yeah, we got to get the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like this and I'm just going to pull it towards me. And another round of Simple Green, of course. Uh, this time I'm actually gonna try and clean this sprocket off too. It looks a little dirty here. So I'll see what this can do with that. All right, back at the brush. Go ahead and scrub this outer layer. All right, so that's probably good. Actually, one thing I wanna do also is give this sprocket a good clean. So I'm gonna come over here, hold this up against there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the inside of that now. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let this soak and give it one more wipe down and that'll really show how clean this chain is. All right, so I let it sit for a few minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe it down with this paper towel now. So we'll wipe it down. Again, filthy, absolutely filthy. And this chain has just over 11,000 miles on it now. So uh, I think it looks and is operating fantastic for how many miles I got on this thing. All right, so one more wipe down with the paper towel. Make sure I get all sides here. I would say that's pretty good. And look at how much cleaner this sprocket is too. 
So anyway, that's looking great. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down also, especially over here. This is where it gets really dirty from spraying it, but we still gotta put the wax on and that can make a mess on a couple of things. So I'm just gonna wait until this dries. We'll put the wax on and then we'll clean it down and then I'll show you the final end result. All right, so I let it dry for a little bit. We're back and ready to apply the wax now. It's nice and clean and dry. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the Maxima chain wax. This is my favorite wax to use. It doesn't drip right off once you uh, start the bike up and take off. Uh, we are going to let it sit for a little bit as you're supposed to with this stuff because it comes out pretty liquidy but it starts to thicken up and wax onto the chain which you want so that it doesn't fling right off. Get the outside so it's nice and covered here. And then of course we want to make sure to get the inside too. So we're going to go ahead and put this down at an angle. All right. So yeah, once this thickens up, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down a little bit just to make sure it's not down there too excessively. Wipe down the rest of the bike, clean everything up and uh, we'll be good to go. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did and let me know in the comments if you have any tips and tricks that you might think help me with my chain maintenance or cleaning process. Also let me know if I was able to help you with anything. Um, but until next time, peace.